Drink these drugs. That's what the doctor said you should drink. Dad, drink it. If you still have his number, kindly call him. Make your prayers. Veteran Hollywood actor Mr. Evil Daughter played with his father to take his medicine in a viral video. Why is colleague Mr. Paul played with Nollywood industry to reach out to Mr. Ibu as he is not feeling too well and they should also pray for him. Hello wonderful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and to all my amazing returning subscribers, God bless you all for always coming back to watch my new videos. Um, Nollywood superstar and veteran actor John Okafo, aka Mr. Ibu, is seriously down. In a lot of viral video that has went so viral on the internet, Mr. Ibu was seen taking his drugs and his daughter was actually pleading with him to take his medicine so he can feel okay. In another viral video, Mr. Ibu was seen being checked by a medical doctor to know what is really wrong with him. Few years back, Mr. Ibu was poisoned by one of his staff. So since then, Mr. Ibu's life has not remained the same again because the poison really did a lot of damage to his body system. A lot of people back then was thinking that Mr. Ibu big tummy was as a result of too much intake of alcoholic drink not knowing that Mr. Ibu was going through a lot and he has spent a lot of money going to the hospital to take treatment because of the poison. But last year, he was getting better. But right now, I think the poison is disturbing him again as Mr. Ibu is so, so down. The daughter in the viral video was pleading with his father to take his medicine and Mr. Ibu is scared of taking medicines as you can see in this video and the daughter was pleading so his father can get well soon and also mr paul did a video telling mr Ibu fans and where wishes to pray for him and also reach out to him because mr Ibu is really really so done so guys just keep on watching to hear what they have to say and what Mr. Ibu also has to say. We all know that Mr. Ibu is loved by so many, but last year a viral video of him supporting Tinubu went so viral that a lot of people were so disappointed at him. So he also addressed the issue in this video that you are about to watch. So guys, if you have watched this very moment, thank you so much for watching to this very moment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please kindly click the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so that anytime I post a new video like this, you'll be the first to watch and you'll be notified. And also drop your prayer for Mr. Ibu in the comment section. God bless you all for watching. Do have a wonderful day or night ahead. Bye guys. Then, all my fans, all my colleagues, all my brothers, depending who is watching, I greet everybody. Please, after watching this video, sorry, after listening to this conversation between Mirindo and the, our big brother, Mr. John Okafo, aka Ibu, I am begging you for one thing. If you still have his number, kindly call him. Make your prayers. If there is need to assist him financially, please do not hesitate to do that. More importantly, Mr. John Okafo, aka Ibu Bokbonikonye is asking Nigerians, his fans, to forgive him. 
stop misunderstanding him. Also, make your prayers for him. We all wish him well. Please, listen to this conversation between Mirindo family and our brother, our colleague, our uncle, Bobo Nikonye, Mr. John Ukafo, a.k.a. Ibu. Thank you very much. My name is Mr. Collins Simona Golomo, Nche Security, Brother Paul, Son of Man, Wanke Mwada, one of the ambassadors of Mirindo. It's okay. I am, since my life, I've never come face to face with Tunumo. Till he became a governor of Lagos State, until he finishes as a governor, I've never come face to face with him. I've never had a previous discussion with him. Bobo said he's a good man. Well, I've never experienced because I don't have anything together. You know, I was surprised to hear people say that I am supporting him. I don't, I don't know why people say that. I'm, why am I supporting him? I don't have any discussion with him earlier. He doesn't contract me for anything. I had no discussion with him, whatever, before now. And then when, when I took us out, I didn't even know where we were until someone was telling me that this is a, a Tunubu's office or something like that. I was surprised. Just immediately, I got up immediately and left that place. And I told them, I'm not going to be here. When I got up, when I came outside, we bought a vehicle, we left there. I've never, I've never had anything with Tunubu from time. I don't have any, I've never had a discussion with him. We never done politics together. I have not. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to condemn him, but I will have not. We have nothing together. Okay. So I cannot openly come and say that I'm, I'm supporting somebody that I don't know. Somebody who has not approached me. But, but the special case of God, I'm big in the, in the political scene. Big in the sense that I have people that support me. I have people that listen to me. And when I talk to them, they listen to me. And based on that, so many politicians come to me. We talk. We enter business, we talk to people, and they listen. You know, so the issue of uh, Tunubu and myself, he's not my enemy, I'm not his enemy. But we have never come, to, come face to face. We have never even exchanged greetings before now. You know. I was surprised people saying that uh, I'm supporting him. Meanwhile, the office I work didn't give me room for me to support any politician at all. I don't support any politician. No. I'm trying to bring everybody together. I focus mostly on our fans and our colleagues. Yeah, Uncle, let me tell you. Yeah, that video was the first time I saw you, you know, I wouldn't say scandal. Mfotalo something. The mother be a hate about you. You were a good man. Why I'm saying, I don't know what brought your picture to me that made me to start, uh, I started asking about you. Luckily, somebody called me. I don't know what came into me. You were a good person. You were a good person. So, in Catania, I got a Eba. On Cabo Yan, it is. I just want to be playing with you, Uncle. We will name Ogrogi. I'm a man proceeding. So I'm um, now this while you make him wake it will get a lot of money. I want you to come back to him so that I will come and see you. I want to make your whole commando. If you are gone, I won't come. That's how I want to live my life 2022. If I cannot help you when you are alive, if I cannot help anybody when that person wants that help, and that person eventually gone, I can't come. Because here again, remember, you go to go. It's a big honor. It's a wonderful honor. Thank you so much. And because of this, giving me this opportunity and then this listening here. I want to come to Enugu. I'm inviting you to Enugu. Let me come and know how far you have gone with your health. Anytime you're coming to Enugu, let me know. So, you go. I'm going to
in maybe a lot of Nigerians happy. At this point, I wish to thank all our members and also all our ambassadors worldwide and our members worldwide, ambassadors of Mirindo and also the members of Mirindo worldwide. May God keep blessing and progressing all of us in Jesus' name. Amen.